Princess Hersia was born in 1775, when Emperor Qianlong was already 63 years old. She was the 10th and the youngest daughter of the emperor. Her mother was concubine Dun. At that time, all the princesses already got married. Emperor Qianlong also did not have any new children for over 9 years. Therefore, he was so glad about the birth of a princess. He also promoted her mother to consult Dun. In 1778, Consul Dun ordered to beat a lady-in-waiting. Due to severe injuries, the lady-in-waiting died. On the one hand, Emperor Qianlong was angry at her cruel behavior. On the other hand, he was worried that if he harshly punished Consul Dun, the princess would be affected. Eventually, Consul Dun was demoted to concubine, but in the next year, she was restored as Consul Dun for the sake of the princess. Princess Hersia was deeply adored by her father, especially because of her appearance and character. Not only did her look like Emperor Qianlong, she was also very determined and brave. The princess frequently accompanied Emperor Qianlong on hunting excursion. During every festival, the princess received many expensive presents from the emperor. Emperor Qianlong even said if she was a prince, she would be appointed as the heir. Because the emperor cared so much for the princess, when she was only 6 years old, the emperor began to select her future husband. He finally selected Feng Shen Yingde. He was from a prominent Manchu clan, New Hudu clan, and was the eldest son of He Shen, an official highly favored by the emperor. The little couple got engaged in the same year, and a marriage ceremony would be held later, when the princess grew older. After their engagement, the emperor gifted them a big house as their future living place. In the same year, the princess contracted smallpox. The emperor was very worried. He asked all the doctors to treat the princess carefully. Every single detail of her medication was recorded and reported to the emperor every day. Fortunately, under the great care, the princess finally made a full recovery. The emperor was relieved and continued to explicitly demonstrate his love for the little girl. In the 49th year of Tianlong reign, he brought along the 10-year-old princess to his last southern expedition. She was the only princess who could accompany the emperor to the tree. Besides, traditionally, only, only daughter of the empress could be named Princess Gulen, the first rank princess. The daughter of concubines could only be named Princess Hershua, the second rank princess. However, when the princess was 12 years old, the emperor openly praised her as clever and gentle and granted her the title Princess Gulen. He even organized a big ceremony for her. It showed that the emperor absolutely adored the princess. In the 54th year of Qianlong reign, the princess turned 15. Her wedding ceremony was finally held. The emperor prepared her a massive dowry, including many exquisite jewelries, clothing, and servants. Her dowry was over 300,000 silver tails, which was the most extravagant among all the princesses. The princess was also given 1,000 silver tails a year, which was the same as the eldest princess. As tradition, the married princess would come back to the palace nine days after the marriage, but Empress Qianlong went against the rule and allowed the princess to come back just after six days. In the next day, the emperor also visited her new living place to make sure that everything was perfect for her daughter. In the next year, even though the princess was married, during her birthday, the emperor still gifted her a lot of expensive presents to show his love for her. To ensure that the princess lived well, the emperor also gave her husband a good position in the court and promoted him quickly. However, her husband did not have the ambition, while the princess was more mature. On the winter morning, he and his servant played with the heavy snow. Princess Hersia was very angry because he was still playing like a child. The couples had a son who was born between 1794 to 1796, but he died a few years later. In 1799, Emperor Qianlong died. Emperor Jiaqin succeeded the throne. Shortly afterwards, Princess Hersia's father-in-law, He Shen, was arrested for corruption and political incompetence. He Shen was initially sentenced to death by slow slicing. However, Emperor Jiaqin allowed him to commit suicide in his own residence for the sake of the princess. He Shen's enormous wealth was confiscated. 
His son was removed from all the privileges and titles. After the fall of the family, Princess Herschel even needed to sell her jewelries, including her expensive pearl bracelet, to pay for the servant. Also, to be financially stable, she needed to get help from Emperor Jiaqing regularly. In the 19th year of Jiaqing reign, the emperor gave her a special reward of 6,000 silver taels. The emperor also allowed her to lend money to the people to collect interest. In 1806, Empress Jiaqing sent the princess husband, Fengshen Yingde, to Mongolia to serve as a military official. But he was ill after serving there for some time. The princess begged the emperor to allow him to return. The emperor agreed. However, just three months after he returned to Beijing, he died of illness. After her husband died, the princess took the responsibility to take care of the family and raise his two daughters, whose biological mother was another concubine. At that time, they were only 5 and 11 years old. In 1823, during the reign of Emperor Daoguang, the princess died at 46 years old.